claim this place for my fatness. Hypnotic food tastes all good. Two burgers for three dollars. It's not right. It's not fair, man. How's an honest man supposed to keep on their diet whenever you got people doing nothing but giving you cheap food that tastes good? Ugh. But anyway, this is Shadowfoot. Once again, time to bring you a little, I don't know, rant, vlog thing. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I'm just driving around having fun. Oh yeah. But, oof, still, let me get tags on this thing. And, should be doing that today. Time it is. It's like eleven thirty something. So I could go and get the tags now. I don't want to go to the DMV over here because we have like an angry lady that doesn't really like us all that much. Whenever um, Pan went and got his license, uh, well, the video kind of explains it right here. So that's what um, happened. Just an angry lady that didn't want to be on camera. Do you want me to pay for him? Then put the phone down. See, I'm putting. Okay, I'm paying for him. That's why I'm up here. I have a purpose for being up here. You would ask to leave. I'm sitting and complying with what they asked. You've been asked to leave. Now you can leave on your own, or I can arrange for you to get a ride. Yes. Um, I just want to stop and talk to you for a second. I'm not sure what happened to B&B. Uh, they were saying they complaining about you recording. That's here and there. If you want, you know, I don't know. Of course, we record events at all. There are cool and stuff, and she, she just hated the world. So I really don't want to go back to that DMV. Just because of that. Because then be like, oh, you okay, we're gonna be hundred and ninety dollars to get your tags put on your motorcycle. Didn't feel like dealing with that drama. But anyway, the only other option is uh, heading down south to Waverly, getting my tags. Which is what I had to do last year too. The question is, do I wait to get my tags this year? Um, because I have a birthday coming up in a couple months. Seems like a waste to buy tags just for a couple months and then, you know, that. But. Then again, if I get pulled over, it's like a hundred and some dollar fines. So that's not good either. But still getting over that. <coughs> Bronchitis. But man, I just love the sound of the motorcycle. I started going back to the gym a little bit. And what I mean by going back is I went once with a friend and had my membership bun suspended uh, from, you know, reasons. And uh, only went once so far. So, not sure if that's uh, necessarily a um, an ongoing thing. But what I did do is I've been using this one app, Let Go, not a sponsor. And I've been... Um, buying a bunch of random stuff and I just happened to come across a weight bench that had like a bunch of weights with it for like uh, all the ads said $50 but the guy was like roar and like wanted to he seen an opportunity to make more money so he's like 75 so I was like yeah fine whatever so I got a weight bench uh, and like uh, the dumbbells type thing and it was all worth it in the end because cost wise I would have spent more money so 
it's like, yeah, 75 bucks isn't that much to pay. Whenever, you know, you try to get 25 pound dumbbell and it's like $30 each anyway. So it actually turns out to pay for itself. Now one thing I will mention though about my motorcycle is even though I may not have current tags on it, I do have insurance on it because I buy insurance per the year and you know, that's not nearly as bad the kind of thing. I'm not advocating people driving without tags, so it's just my circumstances like the only reason I don't have tags on it is because I want to make sure it runs good before I start slapping more money into it. <laughs> I'm going to swing by Custom Power Sports and see if they're open again because they are not open half the time. Oh, there's that Tony's Taxi place that has the Tennessee Titan looking logo on it. It's our local taxi service. Gee. Not sure if the camera can catch that, but uh, right there, the executive inn. They changed their name from the Chillicothe Inn to the executive end. Under new management. Well, you know something had to happen for them to put that sign there. Of course they did. Because that used to be one of the hotels that charged by the hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Going this way. Time to get some tunnel action. Oh, wait, no. Going above the tunnel. Oh, well. No tunnel action here. I need to adjust my mirror. It's always hard to adjust a motorcycle mirror. Something else I was going to do a review on soon will be uh, this place coming up on the left. And um, I never given this place a chance because this looks like a hole in the wall type place. But I stepped in there a moment and I was like, hey, this place is pretty cool. Uh, this place called Games and Enchantments. And, you know, what threw me off a little bit is it said like enchantments and crystals and I was like, okay, so we're talking like um, a little bit more on the spiritual Wiccan side, you know, enlightenment type stuff. Or are we talking like Ouija board? So I never quite uh, gave the place a chance because I was like, eh, it sounds like it's a little bit more on the taboo side. And I have no problem with taboo. I'm basically as weird as they come. But, um,. I stepped in there one day just because I was bored. And uh, it seemed pretty nice. I used to go to Deck and Dice until um, Reasons. And, you know, it felt like an outcast even in the outcast society. So it was uh, not quite fit for me. So I went to this game in Enchantment's place and it was like, welcome all weird. And, uh, Pink apron, pink box, walking around in the middle of spring-ish, summer-ish. Nice. There's a lot of places I need to do public reviews of. Um, the uh, IBEW, um, which is International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. It'd be nice to do a review on that because they are almost impossible to get into. Um, unless you know somebody that knows somebody. There's a lot of little pawn shops I like going to. And, you know, this is a basically, I guess, a video talking about what I will probably end up doing in the near future. Because I want to give the shout-outs to the little communities around here, the little business that pop up and try to survive. Because those are the people that kind of keep the city running. I mean, yeah, you got Walmart and stuff that is like the general consumer. Custom power sports. Here we go again. Ah, their gates are actually open this time. Imagine that. Maybe I can drop off my motorcycle to them. 
Can we go any slower, you S10? Pothole. Some days I think these potholes are just like miniature mini games as a challenge. So it's going to cost close to $600 to get my other bike up and running. Uh, and that's shop costs though. So do-it-yourself costs equals, you know, effort. And figuring things out yourself. Either way, I'm probably looking at about $200 of the parts. If the cars need to be rebuilt. So I could do that, or I could try to sell the bike as it sits, and then this one, and get like, I don't know, like a thousand, like there are additional thousand in it, get like a thousand cc something. I don't have that extreme amount of attachments to my bikes right now. I mean, when it comes down to it, a 250cc is probably easier to maintain until you get away from these carburetors. Because fuel injectors, oh yeah, they're easy. Just pop them out, pop another one, ta done. Carburetors. Uh, I can fix electronics, computers, and forge, and do all kinds of fun stuff, but when it comes to carburetors, I can't fix carburetors. But... Maybe it's just bad fuel in it, need to drain it out, test it, that's what I'm going to do. Um, go ahead and try to get up some uh, muster. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean out the gas that's inside of it and then see if that might have been the problem. You know, find a little drain thing on the carburetors so that way it flushes the bad gas out, see if it comes back to life. Because uh, it was running last season around like uh, August, November ish, near the end of the season. So it could have just been some bad gas in there, which I'm sure it was because the gas we put out, uh, sucked out with the syringe and plugged it back in. Yeah, it, it didn't work too well. But anyway, that'll be probably another video. Until next time, Shadowfoot signing out. You liked that, didn't you? Well, there's more on Patreon. There will be things that can only be seen by supporters. Go to patreon.com forward slash shadow dragon. If you want to be a part of the action and reach out to us, you can come join us on our Discord channel. All you have to do is go to shadowfoot.net and click on the Discord button.